<laughs> if you're looking for an instructional video on making French macaroons, this is not it. We're not professional bakers, but enjoy the show. Hi, macaroons! Wow, you guys are super quiet. Let's try that again. Hi, macaroons! Thank you. Hi, Wolfie, with a bow tie. Um, how you doing, girls? Oh, uh, good. All right. Tell me, what are we doing today? We're making macaroons. We're making macaroons. What type of macaroons? <laughs> We're making French macaroons, not to be mistaken with coconut macaroons. What? And trivia question: What's the appropriate way to say macaroons? Is it macaroons or macarons? Macarons. Is it macarons? Macarons. Macarons is the word to say, but in France. Macarons. Really? Macarons. Well, that's good to know. Who are you? Really? There's somebody in the back of your No, there's not. All right, so macarons, if you know what's the correct way to say macaroons, if it's macaroons or macarons, let's weigh in on this debate. Please comment down below. I think it's macaroons, but you girl feel as though it's macarons. Am I correct? Yes, in France you say it, but right Oh, right ooh la la. Have you been to France? No. Oh. All right, who's ready Bonjour. to get started? Bonjour. Bonjour. Who's ready to get started? Me. All right. I'll mix Let's the bag. Let's get cracking. All right, in this bowl we've got one fourth cup, three fourths cup, sorry, almond flour, and a cup of powdered sugar that has been sifted. Next, we are going to get our egg whites ready. All right, so now we have to separate the egg whites or the egg yolks from the egg whites. So we are going to crack an egg. And to, this is really hard to do because you have to actually take the egg and not make sure the yellow stuff gets inside. That's right. You mean the egg yolk. So to do that, we're gonna get an empty water bottle. And she usually squeezes it. That's right. And, and then... it, it pulls up. <gasps> <laughs> Obviously, mommy needs practice. All right, so there you go. Separating the egg yolk That's from the egg white. Crazy. Then we're going to pour that egg white into our mixer. And then we're going to do the other one. Guys, what is this? Into our mixer, we've got our two large eggs. We're gonna start whisking, but first we've got to get um, our cream of tartar sauce. Tartars? No, not teak tartar, teak tartar. It is cream of tartar sauce. And we just put a little, honestly, macaroon, macaroon mommy and daddies, I'm not an expert, nor am I a professional. Uh, so I literally just put a little bit in. Oh yeah, with your hand. Pinch. And then we start the mixer. All right, so you're gonna mix it until it starts to froth a little. Once it starts frothing, we're gonna go ahead and throw the uh, sugar in, one fourth cup sugar, in there until we get stiff peaks. That's pretty much where you need to start throwing in the sugar, slowly. Slowly throw it in. Yeah, slowly so All right, here are the mats that we're gonna use on our pan. It sells on Amazon. We'll have a link to which below. And it's already got it has guides for you to pipe your macaroons to have even uh, even macaroon sizes. So we are here, we are at stiff peaks as you guys can tell. And we're gonna start spooning in the almond flour and sugar mixture. So the objective here is to take half the meringue and start putting it into your flour. That's about half, it's a little more than half. And then start turning the flour into the meringue until it's evenly incorporated. We're gonna add the rest of the meringue. The objective here is to keep mixing until you get a lava-like consistency. 
I don't know about y'all, but I've never experienced lava firsthand, so I'm totally going to be comparing it to what I see on Matt Geo. Just saying. <laughs> okay, so we like blue macarons, so we're going to drop some blue food. That's some weird blue food coloring yeah, into our like macaron mixture. <laughs> I've never seen that happen before, guys. <laughs> that is totally new. All right. You'll see it in a second, girls. And then just continue to mix. I don't mix it through all the way. Yeah, when I grow, I don't think I will too. Oh, wow, okay. Gives you a nice teal color. Yeah. Boom, just put it in the piping bag. We've got our homemade makeshift piping bag. Thank you, Glad freezer bag. And now we're gonna snip a snip snip in it. Small hole so you can control the flow. And then we're gonna start to pipe. All right, after you've piped, and here's my lame excuse for piping, <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and bang it down. Oops, bang it down. To get any air bubbles out. That's right, air bubbles out. You think we banged it down enough? I don't know. Sometimes people drop it so um, more air bubbles. All right, well. <laughs> All right, so. Here are those macaroons. We're gonna let this rest for about um, 30 minutes before putting it into an oven for 325. And uh, yeah, let's do that. All right, so while waiting for your macaroons to dry, it's important that they're left in a cool place. Luckily, we have something called AC in our home. So leave them for about 30 minutes and you should be able to run your hands over them without getting any stuff on your finger. For instance, if I were to touch this macaroon right here. All right, guys, it's been 30 minutes and our macaroons should be done drying. How do you test to see if a macaron is done drying? Touch them lightly to make sure it's like dry and stiff. And nothing comes off on your finger, right? Yeah. All right, so let's try it. Oh my gosh, golly. Can I do it? Yeah, I can undo it. So I'm touching it, and as you can see, our timer got Nothing is coming off Mama's finger. So we're ready to put it into the oven. The oven is set at 325, and they're gonna bake between 10 and 12 minutes. Ooh. So roughly 10 minutes in the oven, and this is what happened. We had a bunch of them collapse. A couple of good ones that I'll go ahead and fill. It tastes delicious. I tasted them. Um, not sure what I did wrong, macaroons. If you know, we're still learning and we're not professional bakers. So if you know where I went wrong, please comment down below. And we'll be back after we fill them. All right, so we are back um, with our macaroons. <laughs> hey, at least we tried. All right, so to fill the macaroons, you can pretty much fill them with anything. Um, Vidya's favorite filling is guava jelly. guava jelly, which tastes, I don't know, I'm not particularly fond of it, but that's Vic yeah. and v Vidya's. And then Divya yeah. likes good old Nutella. I mean, who doesn't like Nutella, right? And All right, so we are going to do the Nutella. So you take your macaroon and just slap some of that Nutella on there. <laughs> All right. I think that's enough. All right. And then you take the other side and you, and blab it on you squish them together. Homemade macaroon macaroons. Oh, I just want some. And then we're going to do the guava. Get some guava. Hopefully it doesn't fall out too of honey. Get that guava on the macaroon. <laughs> I think the guava doesn't want to stay away from. All right, then you get the other piece of the macaroon and you simply put it on top. Oh, this one's so not even, but there you go. This is how the macaroons make macaroons. All right, which one's the guava? There we go, guava and Nutella. All right. 
<laughs> How is it? Yummy. Tastes good? What? Are you kidding me? Tastes good. Oh, I hope so. <laughs> All right, labor of love. So, girls, come back. What do you want to tell you? want to tell you macarons now that we've got this wrapped up. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Mm -hmm. And check, check us out. out on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at Three Macaroons. Bye. Bye! And don't forget, um, macaroons are tasty. And I want to send them to my teacher. Oh, that sounds good. Hopefully she'll eat them. All right, have a good night, guys.